Danny Roberts has just turned pro and a uh, very well-known Isle of Man boxer from Manx ABC Boxing Club. I thought it would be a great opportunity to come and have a chat with Danny ahead of his first bout, got it right this time, uh, in Liverpool on the 10th of March. But uh, Danny, just want to go back to the beginning a little bit. And for anybody that doesn't know anything about you, just tell me a little bit about how it all started. Um, when I was younger, about 10, I used to come down with my dad because he, he was an ex-pro. And just basically just run around, hit the bags, be annoying just getting everyone's way, but from there I've literally just not stopped. But you weren't just boxing at the time, you were also, um, and I'm really excited to actually talk about this because I think it's really funny, um, you also loved football too yeah, and you were playing at the School of Excellence as yeah, well. School of Excellence. If I had the championships coming up if I was boxing, I should be training Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but on a Friday sometimes I'd sneak off to football training. And what would happen? My dad would come down and pick me up and take me to the gym. So you, you had an injury, I know, that made you stop playing football, but you took up fell running. Um, well, I played for uh, old boys and I was training one night and I twisted my knee and I tore a uh, cartilage. So I've had about two and a half years out. I enjoyed the fell running because my boss, Anton Clean, he did a lot of it and then he got me into it. I did the Mount Marathon. Which, which is, is a yeah. pretty huge run. I mean, how many miles is that again? Uh, 36, I think. Okay, so let's talk about your boxing then. Tell me a little bit about the journey to becoming a pro. So I feel I've done a lot in the amateurs now and I've had 80 bouts. I'm 27 now. I could have turned over a couple of years ago, but like I say, the injury and stuff held me back. I want it now, so I think the time's right now for me. What is that changing process between coming amateur to pro then? What happens? Um, obviously you get paid, so you don't get a trophy. You get paid for it. The gloves are smaller, so 8 ounces instead of 12s, which is a big difference. Um, obviously no head guard. Uh, no top. And what do you have to do to become pro? I went for an interview with the British Boxing Board of Control and you go on a, an assessment and they just have a look at you to see whether you're up to the standards and stuff. So Is that pretty nerve-wracking? Because you've done it for so long, it should just come natural. So it was, I was quite comfortable in there. So 10th of March is the competition. Tell yeah. me a little bit about that. I just can't wait now. I've actually finally got a date now and I can just concentrate and it's giving me the drive now just to push. People have been messaging me constantly for tickets and that. So that's just giving me a buzz now because people want to come see me. You've got a massive support following from the Isle of Man, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, friends, family, and, and it helps you with ticket sales, doesn't it? Because yeah. I know that obviously is part of your pay system as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what about um, the waiting game now up to the 10th of March? Because it's a couple of weeks away. What are you going to be doing and how are you going to be getting prepared? Twice a day, every day. Do my runs in the morning and then in the gym at six for two and a half hours. I'm going away Monday to Manchester for a four weeks training camp. Now Manx ABC, obviously you're down here and you're coaching the juniors a lot of the time as well. Yeah. So you're putting back in now what yeah. obviously you had is for you as a junior too. You see that important, important part of your role? Yeah, it's good to see the kids and it's like they think now, oh, professional boxer. So they think, oh, so then you just help them out and because they'll listen to you because they know you've done it and stuff, so it's good. So let's just go back to the 10th of March. Obviously the first um, boxing match as a pro for you at Echo Auditorium in Liverpool. What are your expectations? Just put on a show for the fans that are coming to pay a lot of money. So if anybody wants to get on board, because I know that you still need sponsors to support you, I think we need to thank B&B at yeah. this point too, but uh, mm. you are looking for more help. Yeah, just looking for a bit more help, more sponsors who will um, you'll get on my shorts, my t-shirts, my training tops, and after a few fights, hopefully be televised. So how do they get in touch with you, Danny? You can contact me on Facebook or contact my dad because he's dealing with all like the paperwork. My dad's number two 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 zero zero. Give him that work. I'll just train and turn up and fight. He can sort that out. <laughs> and obviously, to book tickets, where do people go to book tickets Same. for the match? My dad, yeah, two 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 zero zero is his number, or just get him on Facebook. Well, Danny, well done to you for being such an inspiration for, for a number of magic kids, obviously, from the Isle of Man, to show that you can be a pro boxer um, from the Isle of Man. I know it's an expensive thing to do, obviously, with the travel and everything, but a very good luck for the match. We look forward to following your success. Thanks very much, Joe. Cheers.